Anybody else? Okay. So I have the thought for the day. I just had it. Yeah. So um, the thought for the day is on breaking the cycle. And that's an expression we hear a lot, you know, it's like, uh, well, I'm just breaking the cycle. And, and part of that expression is, really means breaking the chains of the cycle. You know, the cycle, the chains of addiction, gangbanging, domestic violence, school dropout, uh, whatever it might be, you know, you break uh, the cycle. And, uh, and the truth is you can't break the cycle unless you know the cycle. You know, a lot of times people go, well, what cycle? What are you talking about? You can't break the cycle unless you can see the chains. And that's really important. So uh, one of the many reasons why I admire you is you've walked through the, these doors, which means you've embraced an interruption strategy. I'm going to interrupt this cycle. I'm going to take a look at the chains. I'm going to see them, because nothing can change unless you do. Uh, a homie once said to me, no one is born a slave, but some of us, he says, are born into slavery. And so it's a, it was a wise thing to say because it's about uh, looking at stuff, perhaps for the first time, where you say, yeah, my stepfather used to do that to my mom. Yeah, I'm never going to do that. And as painful as it is to see that, to know that, you can't break the chains of that unless you actually look at it. And that's part of the work that happens here. My parents were both addicts, and, and I'm an addict, and, and I'm going to break that cycle just because I know it, I see it. That's my interruption strategy, which is why you walk through these doors in the first place. I can remember I once asked a homie, um, you know, trying to get him to see the kind of how bankrupt gangbanging in neighborhoods are, and I said, what would you say to your son if he said, I'm going to get jumped into your neighborhood? And he thought about it and he said, I would beat his ass. <laughs> and nobody thinks that would break the cycle. In fact, it would probably cement the cycle and keep the chains on you. Which made me think of Fabian. He and I were privileged to travel together to Richmond, Virginia. And uh, one night, I spoke to this packed room in English for 45 minutes and brought him up, and he was part of the Q&A. And the next night, he told his story 45 minutes in Spanish, and I was brought up for the Q&A. And uh, it was an amazing story of very lyrical and poetic and compelling, and people were hanging on every word. And, and the th one of the many things that struck me was at one point, he talked about his own kids, and, and he spoke with such confidence he said, I know they're not going to join gangs. It wasn't like, maybe they will, maybe they won't. No, it was confident. Of course, I know they won't. Not because he's beating their ass, but because of the way he's living, the way he's paying attention, the way he's loving. It makes sense that he would be absolutely, totally confident that this is not going to happen to my kids. Not because I refuse to let it happen. No, just because... The environment is nurturing and loving. It's impossible. That's the sound of somebody who's broken the cycle. So I remember a homie years ago named Rogelio, who I knew and really a hard, hard uh, experience with his own father. And so he didn't have any guideposts to figure out how to be a father. And um, he called me one day, and, uh, and it was hot in the summer. And the day before, he was at a public pool with his kid, Andres, who was five years old. And he was telling me how he, you know, um, was throwing him in the pool and cannonballs and Marco Polo and 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 he, the kid would go up in a ball and he'd throw him into the deep end and oh the kid loved it and do it again and do it again and it was all these do it agains you know and finally, Rogelio said I'm poop so I mean, I'm gonna take a break so he gets out of the pool and the kid is still in the pool and he lays his towel down right at the edge of the pool, and, and rests his chin on his folded arm so he can eyeball his kid while he's in the pool, and Andres keeps swimming, and, and finally Andres swims over to the edge of the pool, right to the lip of it, right where his father is, and he mimics his father kind of resting his chin on his folded arms, and they're staring at each other, they're not saying a word, they're just staring at each other, and finally Andres says, Apa, sabes que? When I become a daddy, I want to be a daddy just like you. 
well, there's silence on the phone. <laughs> and I said, Rogelio, mijo, what are you feeling right now? And his voice cracks, and he says, chills. <laughs> and that's the sound of somebody who has broken the cycle. He knows he had. And that comes from taking a good hard look at the chains that bind us. If you don't know them, if you don't see them, they can't be broken. And this is why, one of the many reasons, why I admire 